Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for how to route the outputs in Contact 5 in Pro Tools. Okay, we're going to start by creating a stereo auxiliary track and putting contact onto that. Okay, so here's contact. And you should get something like this with your instruments on the left and basically a blank session. So we're going to open our outputs here at the top. And um, you'll notice I have maybe a few more than you might have, but that shouldn't matter. Ideally, we're going to want to have 16 because contact can have 16 instruments. And with 16 channels, we'll be able to individually, individually control all 16 of those instruments. So let's go to the top here to add channels. And we're going to type 16. And number of channels is 2. That represents stereo. Um, we're going to set that to 1 so that they're, they come out as in ascending order. Make sure that it deleted when we create new ones and make it our default configuration. Okay, great. So now we should have 16 channels, um, stereo channels. So we'll have outputs 1 and 2, outputs 3 and 4, and 5 and 6, etc. All the way up to 31 and 32. Um, so now we're going to want to save these as our default for all formats. That way, if we ever work um, the contact as a standalone instrument or it l another program like Logic, it's all set up for us. Now, we do have to reset Pro Tools for this to take place and for it to uh, be in the future. So we're going to save this and reopen this session. And there we go. Should be all there. Yep, S 16 stereo outputs all set up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some instruments. And we're just going to start with like a, a string section, so violin, viola, cello, bass. And I'm just going to use the, the factory library from Contact. So I'm going to scroll down and get a violin sound. And also a viola sound, cello, and bass. So let me find those real quick cello and bass okay now we need to make some MIDI tracks so I'm going to create four of these there we go and you'll notice I'm not really using um, instrument tracks and the reason that is is because I find that they take up more resources than audio tr auxiliary tracks and MIDI tracks especially when you have a lot of tracks a lot of times in film scoring you'll have up to a hundred tracks so that is why I have them separate it's also good to uh, figure out how the routing works so that if you ever have a problem you can fix it okay so now we need to make sure that the MIDI channels MIDI channel 1 and 2 are set up with our MIDI tracks and you'll notice in contact they're already set up in sequence so we just need to match that with our MIDI tracks I'll just rename these real quick as well so violin, viola, cello and bass. Okay, so we're going to set this one to channel 1, this one's channel 2, the cello to channel 3, and the bass to channel 4. Now, there's a quicker way to do this, especially if you have more than four instruments. Select all your tracks, and while holding Shift Option Command, you can set them in sequence. So you'll see I set them to 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I'll go ahead and switch them back to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, here we go. There we go. So we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now they should be connected properly and we should be able to hear them. Yep, so there's violin, viola, cello, and bass. Great. So that works just fine. Now, one thing you'll notice is that they're still coming out the same auxiliary track. Now that's okay for just writing, but really we want them separate. So what we're going to do is we're going to create separate auxiliary tracks for each instrument. Okay, so here's three. Now let's go ahead and relabel these as well. Okay, so this one is violin auxiliary track. You can name them however you want. This is just how I do it, but um there we go okay so now those are all set 
however, they're not. You're still not gonna be able to hear your violin, viola, cello, and bass through each individual auxiliary track. They're still coming out what we labeled the violin auxiliary track. You'll notice here in contact, their outputs are all set to stereo one. Now, so if we open up our output window, we created 16 separate stereo tracks. So we want to make sure those correspond with each of our instruments. So we'll start with viola and set that to stereo two. Um, three and four, and then we'll so go to cello, set that to stereo three, and stereo four. So that's just how they are um, named by default. You can also change the names. So if I wanted, I could change this to output one and two, or violin, or whatever I wanted to. Um, I'm just going to leave it for as stereo one for now, and move on. So here we go. Let me, let me just switch this. All right, so now you'll notice that if I try to play the instruments, that you won't be able to hear them. Let's go to the cello. Um, so I'm playing, and you'll notice that in contact, I'm receiving information. There's audio coming through, but it's not coming into Pro Tools. And that's because we haven't set up our input. So we look at our violin track. Right now it's set to no input, and it gives us options to set it as a bus or as a plugin. And you'll notice that the plugin one is grayed out. That's because when we set an insert as an instrument, like contact on an auxiliary track, it already sets it up as having input one and two. So that's one's already set up. Now if we look at our viola track, it also has no input. And if we go down to plugin, we'll have all the list of our different stereo outputs. So I went ahead and set that to stereo two, because that's how it's set up in contact. And now we're getting it through our viola aux track, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and set that up for the cello and the bass. And we can do that same quick command to set them up in sequence. So now we have two, three, and four. Um, and they should all work. There you go. See, now the cello is coming out cello aux, and the bass is coming out the bass aux. Well, that does it for this tutorial. If you liked the video and would like to see more, hit subscribe and like. And also leave a comment if you have any particular video you would want to see. Also check out our video on VE Pro routing and film score templates.